Welcome to our Advent prayer service at St. Patricia Parish. Advent is a time to prepare ourselves and our hearts for the coming of Jesus in all that we say and do. It is also a time to reach out to others in the spirit of love and be like stars that shine Christ's light into the world around us. Let us pray. Gracious God, because of your great love, you sent your Son. During this Advent season, we ask that you open our hearts. Help us to walk in your way of love. May we see the true meaning of Christmas in the world around us, and may we be your light to your people who are in darkness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, who is one with you, and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, God's word came to John son of Zechariah, in the desert. He went into all the countryside around the Jordan River. There he preached that people should be baptized and turn away from their sins. Then God would forgive them. Here is what is written in the book of Isaiah, the prophet. It says, a messenger is calling out in the desert, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight paths for him. Every valley will be filled in, every mountain and hill will be made level. The crooked roads will become straight, the rough roads will become smooth, and all people shall see the salvation of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. During this time in Advent, I would like to talk to you about the Advent wreath. For the Catholic Church, the Advent wreath is a very special way to celebrate the month leading up to Christmas Day. On the wreath, we have four candles. One by one, the candles are lit week by week. The candles show the strong contrast between darkness and light. In the Bible, Jesus is referred to as the light of the world and he opposes the darkness of sin. As Jesus' birth on Christmas Day draws closer, another candle is lit, and with each candle, it takes away the darkness a little bit more. Some Advent wreaths also include a fifth white candle called the Christ candle, symbolizing purity. And that is lit on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. Notice the shape of the wreath. It's a circle. There's no beginning and no end. That shows God's complete unending love for us. A love that sent his son, Jesus, into the world. It also represents eternal life something we will one day share with our God. For the first Sunday of Advent, we light the first purple candle, which symbolizes hope. It's also called the prophet's candle, reminding us that Jesus is coming. The second Sunday of Advent, we light the second purple candle, which symbolizes faith. It is called the Bethlehem candle, reminding us of Mary and Joseph's journey to Bethlehem. 
The third Sunday of Advent is called Gaudate, or Rejoice Sunday. And on this day, we celebrate that our waiting for the birth of Jesus on Christmas Day, it's almost over. Rose is a liturgical color that is used to signify joy. So we light the single pink candle on the third Sunday of Advent. That Sunday also represents joy with the shepherd's candle, reminding us of the joy the world experiences at the birth of Jesus. Then on the fourth day of Advent, the final purple candle is lit to mark the final week of our waiting for the birth of Jesus, the King of Kings. The fourth candle symbolizes peace with the angel's candle reminding us of the message of the angels. Peace on earth, goodwill toward men. And now let us continue with our prayer service with the prayers of the faithful. We are called by God to help those in need let us place our needs before him so we may do what God has called us to do. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. That we may prepare our hearts and homes for the coming of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the darkness in our world will be overcome by the light of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that God will help us to make our crooked paths straight, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we will be the light of Jesus to the people around us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God will watch over our families and bless them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Dear God, hear the prayers of your church. May we celebrate this Advent season with loving hearts that are filled with the light of hope and peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God, our Father, you give us this Advent season to prepare our hearts for the coming of your Son. May we walk in your love in all that we do and bring Christ's light into our lives and into the lives of those around us. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And may the Lord bless us all in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. This prayer service has ended. Thank you for joining me in this time of prayer. Let us go in peace and be like stars that shine Christ's light into the world around us. Amen. <laughs>